Good afternoon YouTube, my name is Brandon and I'm going to show you how to turn these unused solid wood doors into this. And if you want to see how I did that, stick around. Hello guys, so for my regular viewers, welcome back. Um, you can see that the beard and the hair is coming along nicely. Um, we're doing well on raising money for Kids for Christmas for that charity. And the end of December, it's getting shaved off. The beard and the hair is going back to normal. And if you're a new viewer, welcome. And I hope you enjoy my content. So I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the door. Um, my wife found these. She searched online. This is pretty much her all her idea. She told me what she wanted and how she wanted it and her and I set out to build this together. She found the doors advertised online. It was a guy who was doing a building remodel on a house and it was a complete uh, gut out. He stripped everything and was just looking to get uh, rid of these doors. Sold them really, really cheap. Um, now the reason I tell you this um, little backstory on this is that you know, not everything that you have uh, or want has to be something brand new that you can buy out of a catalog. And my regular viewers will know uh, from watching my content that I try to come up with some neat uses for stuff that, uh, you know, maybe a lot of people would throw away. Like this door, I suppose you could use this in a house. Um, but I mean, how cool is that? Uh, this is going to be a headboard uh, for her mother and father and it's going to be we're going to give it to them for christmas so it's kind of neat when you can repurpose something like this who knows this door may have landed on a on a uh, you know ended up on a landfill but uh it's kind of nice when you can repurpose something and turn it into something what i think is you know pretty sharp looking i think um and it's pretty easy to do uh the hardest part about this whole project was probably cutting the moldings on top but as you guys follow along this is something you guys could do with basic minimal tools you'll see me use a lot of power stuff but it doesn't have to be power this could all be hand nailed and you could use a uh, you know hand miter box if if that's all you had uh so with that being said, no more talking. Let's get going and uh, let's get to building this thing. It was a lot of fun. And uh, Merry Christmas to everyone and Happy Holidays. see this little uh, sliver of wood underneath the table you probably saw me uh, messing around with this well here's a little uh, little pro tip um, my wife was asking why I put that under there okay so let me bring you back to the door and show you something okay so so these these are gonna go in between here okay so the goal is is to have this be a really tight 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 cut right well, the best way to make that a tight cut is theoretically if you undercut, if, um, if I exaggerate, hang on, let me get a pencil. If I exaggerate this, that if I go from here to here, 
okay, and I get rid of this, well, then that has to fit tight, right? Because the only thing that's going to be touching is the top. None of the bottom could be hanging up. Well, by me putting a little piece of wood underneath the saw when I cut, what I'm doing is, is I'm kind of cheating a little bit. So I put this under here, and what that's doing is, in essence, is it's raising that piece of wood off the table just a little bit so that the bottom gets cut a little bit more than the top. So it's kind of just a way of cheating it. Um, as long as the piece is the same thickness all the way across, then you can get away with doing that. But that's just a little, uh, little pro tip on how to undercut your wood. Do it quickly if you're a production carpenter. Um, that's just a quick way of making a cut. And that's all there is to it guys. I hope I've shown you uh, some creative ideas to take a readily available door that you can find pretty much anywhere, uh, either for free or cheap, 
and turn it into something that is useful, elegant, and I think pretty beautiful. So if this is something you like, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And you can also find me on Facebook at Brandon Lund DIY Builds. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. See ya. Come, come, come.